Hey guys, how's it going? We're back here today with another exotic review, taking a look at the weapon, the Chaperone. So this, first off, is an exotic shotgun you get from completing a quest that you get from Amanda Holiday. The quest drops randomly from when you complete a couple of bounties or, or pursuits. So just complete those in the beginning of the game. If you haven't gotten this already, it means you probably haven't been playing much Forsaken because this thing drops pretty early. But there's three stages to this thing. What you need to do first is go into the Crucible and get some shotgun kills. Then you need to get Void, Arc, and Solar kills. And uh, the thing with this is as you die in the Crucible, uh, those go down. So for example, it's all done as a percentage. If you get you know up to about 50% with Arc kills and then you die a couple times, it's going to go down a little bit. Good thing is once you get something up to 100%, doesn't matter even if you die after that, it will not go down, it is checked off. So you can focus on one element at a time, and then you're going to be good to go. Final step is going to be jumping into Gambit. Get in there, get 15 I believe, 15 or 25, I forget. Uh, I think it's 15 Guardian kills. So you could be the invader, or you can do some invading yourself, but you gotta get those kills. Then go back, see Amanda, and she's gonna have the chaperone for you. This thing is uh, from D1, pretty much the same gun. So let's take a look at the perks down here. We got Precision Slug, fires a single slug precision round. Then we got Hammer Forge Rifling, Accurized Rounds. Then we've got the Roadborn. Precision kills briefly grant bonus handling, range, and precision damage with this weapon. And then finally, Hand Laid Stock. Guys, this thing is uh, meant to be used in Crucible. If you're not using it in Crucible, you're not using it right. You're not using it right. It's not really a PvE uh, friendly gun. You could use it in PvE, but it's definitely there to shine in Crucible, and that's what we're seeing a little bit in the back uh, in the of the gameplay in the background. So up until this match, I've really played in the background. Not that I did really that well in this match, but up until this match, I really did not have a good time with this gun. It was tough to use. It wasn't my thing. Uh, it's definitely a skill gun, I'll put it that way. Something that you need to spend some time with and get accustomed to and work with. It's, um, it's definitely something that rewards those that are more skilled with it. Which I started to feel like I was doing things a little bit better with it in this match. So it's all about getting headshots. You got, you know, especially if you're starting up in Crucible, you're only going to get two shots with this thing once you load in after a death or, uh, or anything like that. You gotta hope you find some ammo on the ground because, again, you only get two shots with this thing. Uh, standard, that's what you get. So you're gonna be running around, you're gonna be looking for people, but you gotta get those headshots. It does 275 precision headshot damage. So that's gonna be a kill. And it's got some decent range for a shotgun. Again, this thing does not have that shotgun spread. This is a single slug. So you wanna be focusing on getting those kills. You wanna be focusing on getting those headshots. And it's pretty forgiving from what I could tell. Uh, I am not a huge skilled player in the Crucible, so this thing was um, this thing was tough for me to use. But I found that, you know, I guess the map that I was on right here in, in the clips that you're seeing in the background was a close quarters map, which is great for shotguns, which you're going to see I died plenty of times in here from other shotguns. But this thing, the range on this is what sets it apart from other shotguns in my opinion. And uh, the fact that it does not have that spread damage, it is a single shot. So if you get that headshot, you get that guaranteed kill. Body shot, not so much unless uh, you're really close right on top of them and maybe they're injured a little bit. So that's a quick review on this one guys. I hope you do enjoy these videos of the exotic reviews. I got a couple more coming. It's uh, few and far between these because you're not getting, or, and I'm not getting exotics as frequently as I used to. Uh, sum, this, uh, sum this gun up, it is a lot of fun to use once you figure out how to use it properly. It's uh, it's very fast paced, you gotta be getting those headshots, you gotta be quick with the trigger, and you gotta, you know, you gotta get, get faster, be better than the other person trying to kill you. Get those headshots and you get rewarded for it. Fun gun to use uh, as far as it taking up your exotic slot in the Crucible. Eh, right now, yeah. Well, once I get a few more exotics, probably not. I'm gonna say probably not. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. It helps me out and uh, helps the channel out a lot too. If you want to check out some of my other exotic reviews, I'll have them linked at the end of this one coming up in about a few seconds. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.